you have um, this interactive dashboard where you can switch, uh, you know, uh, between the chart type and the metric you want to see. And also you have your key insights, right? You hear about MCPs left and right coming out about AI and things like that. Google Analytics just launched their own MCP that you can download and utilize with Claude or Gemini. You, you get the idea. No one knows how to do that. I've gotten DMs left and right. So I'm gonna have Salva from our tech team come in here and run you through how and why you're gonna set this up. Uh, he runs all of our technical strategy around database management and everything else. So you're gonna be in great hands. Before that, I'm gonna walk through the most simplistic understanding of what the heck an MCP is, especially when you see a tool like Google Analytics launching their own version. So let me walk you through this. So we basically have on the front end, we have inputs. That is your request, right? Normally you have requests where it's two plus two. What does that equal? Four. It runs through rules, like those rules that you're gonna put into place to have two plus two equal four. MCPs are basically run in the middle and you have requests that then turn into figure it out and then you have an output. So we're gonna run through this and Salva is gonna show you the thinking process that Claude with his, the MCP of Google Analytics goes through to understand the data and then also create an output. There are multiple tables, multiple APIs, multiple endpoints that you might have to access to get a specific query. I'll spoil one quick thing is that it's not very good at complex outputs at the current moment. If you ask about funnels or understanding of those funnels, it doesn't understand yet how you join based off of the item ID, not the page path. Again, very Google specific, but you understand the concept of there are nuances here. So make sure you trust what you are at your output so you can QA it. Without any further ado, here is Salva. Okay, let me show you what we are doing here. In this case, we are asking for, uh, you know, the number of sessions in the last 30 days. And the first thing the model is trying to do is uh, identifying the, the GA4 property. In this case, only based on what I said in uh, my prompt. After that, he is, you know, running a query to get uh, the, the result. In this case, the number of sessions in the last 30 days, as I said. Um, but the the coolest part of doing something like this is that the model, uh, you, you don't need to specify the API endpoint or what is exactly the process that uh, he needs to follow in order to get the result. The model is, uh, you know, uh, identifying the, the steps uh, to get the correct answer by himself, which is really amazing. Okay. So secondly, we are um, asking for a table with the event name and the event count. So you can see this document where we have uh, the event name and the event count, which is pretty straightforward, being honest with you. But the final thing we build uh, with this is um, an interactive report with sessions, users, and new users for the same period. So let's see what is the, uh, you know, the result. And we have uh, this, which is pretty nice in my opinion. Um, so everything is built under the MCP server uh, for GA4. And you're gonna learn how to connect with your GA4 account and your LLM. In this case, we are using um, Cloud Desktop, but you could use, um, I don't know, maybe uh, Gemini or whatever you want. The process is almost the, the same. It's very, it's very similar. Um, okay, so the first thing you must know is um, basically you will need to install some stuff before to follow this process. The third thing is Python, but don't worry, you don't need to code anything. The only thing you need is to install Python. You can go to the official website of Python and you can click on downloads and download your Python, okay? Um, after that, you will uh, need also something called Homebrew, which is basically a package management system. Um, the tricky part is that you are going to be using the terminal uh, to install this, but it's pretty easy. Let me show you what the process is. Uh, I am going to copy this uh, bash code and I'm going to open my terminal. Okay. So, and what you have to do only is to paste this uh, 
code in your terminal and run um, this, okay? So I'm not going to do this because I already uh, have installed uh, this uh, management system, the, this package management system. But uh, once you do that, you basically will see that everything is being uh, installed and that's it. It's super easy, okay? So with this Python and Homebrew installed in your uh, computer, the following step is, um, as you can see, this is the official documentation we have for the Google Analytics MCP server. The first thing is to configure Python. And again, it's super easy. The only thing you need to do is to install something called pipx. pipx basically is a library that allows you to um, run this MCP server in this case, okay? So the, the thing, in my case, I am using Mac OS. So the, the thing I need to do is only copy this and open again my terminal and paste this uh, code, uh, enter. And as you can see, um, is basically installing this library. As you can see, these, this is using uh, Brew. That's why we install Homebrew uh, uh, before, okay? So um, after that, the, the thing you need to do is uh, run this uh, other piece of code. So open your terminal and paste and enter. And that's it. You are now ready to connect your um, MCP server. Okay, so the, the next step is um, you need a credential to connect your Google Analytics uh, the, your year for account to uh, this MCP. Uh, the thing you need to do is uh, create a Google Cloud account. You need to go to console.cloud.google.com and if you don't have a, a, a Google Cloud account, you have to create it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward again. Um, and after that, the thing you need to do is create a credential, okay? Let me show you what is the process. So you need to click on this uh, menu bar and you need to go to the APIs and services. Um, before to create create the, this credential, you need to be you need to ensure that uh, two APIs are turned on in your Google Cloud instance. The first one is Google Analytics Analytics. Uh, let me only look for Google Analytics uh, Analytics API. And the first one is the Google Analytics Data API. In your case, if you haven't used this API before you need to click on this active button and that's it. In this case, uh, the button is um, manage because I already have turned this on, okay? And finally, the, the next uh, API you need to turn on or to activate in this case is the Google Analytics Admin API. So let me look for it, Admin API. So click here and same process. You only need to click in uh, activate and that's it. Okay, nice. Now we are in the API and services and we need to go to credentials. Okay. In this section, uh, what you have to do is to create a new credential. What kind of credential do you need? In this case is a service account. Okay. Click on service account and you can um, choose your name. In this case is maybe MCP demo um, a vision, vision labs, okay? Click on create and continue, uh, continue, and that's it. When you click down, you will create your uh, new uh, credential, okay? So you can look for your credential here uh, in the service account, um, and the name of this is MCP Demo Vision Labs, okay? And in this, when you open your new credentials, you need to go to keys and you need to add a key. In this case, create new key and the key type is JSON, okay? When you click on create, you will um, get a, a file, a JSON file 
with your credential. It's really important um, that you save in a you know safe place uh, in your laptop, okay, in a folder or wherever you you feel it's safe, okay. So with that, the following step is um, with this uh, email, we need to um, give access to this account. So we I'm gonna go to my EA4 account, click on admin and or account access management, and you must uh, give access to this new email, right? So in this case, we already have this uh, access. That's why we are, um, you know, getting the results. But if you don't, um, you don't have access in this service account, uh, this is not going to work. Okay. With that, basically, the following step is to connect your MCP to a cloud desktop in this case. And in the, the documentation, you can see that you have, uh, you know, how to configure this in Gemini. But it's the same process uh, for a cloud, even if it's easier in my opinion. So you're gonna copy this second piece of uh, code. You're gonna copy it. And then you're gonna go to your um, cloud desktop app and here in the cloud menu you're gonna click on settings right and you will uh, go to developer okay and then uh, click on edit config when you click on that um, this uh, window is going to be opened and what you need is to open this uh, JSON file, cloud desktop config. So I'm going to open it. And as you can see, I already have installed my uh, server. But the, the step you need to do in your case uh, is you will see something like this. You need to paste uh, the code you have in your... Um, sorry, you need to paste the code you have in in git in the github project and you need to replace these for the path where you save your json file you remember that we get a json file we, we, when we create the google cloud um, key well in this case you're gonna paste the location where you save uh, this document okay so with that you need to save this change in in the do in the in this document we're gonna close this, close this, and you must uh, close uh, even cloud again. So I'm gonna close and I'm gonna open cloud, right? How do I know? How do I know that I that everything is working uh, well? You click on these search and tools, and you must see. Analytics NCP now connected. And if you click, you will see everything that you can do with these new connections. Get metrics, get dimensions, run real-time reports, get real-time metrics, and whatever you want, which is amazing. So that's it. I hope that uh, this uh, helps you a lot. And I can wait to see what you are going to build using this new MCP server connection. See you.